What is going down guys? I am the Zombie Project and welcome to my in-depth tutorial on how to get the upgraded wolf bow on the new map to Rise of Dragon. So before continuing on with the tutorial, uh, I just want to say you guys need a bow. If you guys don't have the Wrath of the Ancients or if you don't know how to get it, there will be a link in the description below. Go ahead and check that out and then you guys can come back to this video and continue on with the upgrade process. So assuming everybody has the bow, the first step is the wolf quest. I'm going to show you guys four paintings. I'm going to explain what to do with these paintings after I show you the location. So the first location is here inside of the church, right there on, uh, on the second floor. Uh, the second location is inside of the bell tower, right here on the bottom floor. The third painting is inside of the trophy room, right there on the wall. And the fourth painting is at the end of the guard's hallway. Um, open up that door, and it should be right here. There it is there. Okay, so that's the fourth painting. You guys have to interact with these paintings in a certain order. The hard part is, is we don't know what the order is. The order is completely random. And you guys pretty much got to figure it out by trial and error. So it took me about five minutes. It wasn't that hard. There's only four paintings. So... I'm about to show you guys an example on what it looks like to interact with the wrong painting. So I'm about to walk up to the painting here in the trophy room. Boom. So you guys heard that sound. That's what it sounds like to interact with the wrong painting. And if you see the wolf heads appear and then disappear within a second, that means it's wrong. Um, but if you interact with the painting and you see the wolf heads appear and stay on the painting like they did right there, that means that that is correct. So that's my first painting. So I'm going to come down here and see if this is my second painting. Boom. The wolf heads appear and they stay. So that's good. So this is the right order. I'm on the right track. So bell tower was my first and the trophy room was my second. So now I'm off to the next one, crossing my fingers, hoping I can get the next one right because I got the first two right. I'm on to my third painting. And I decided to try this one here at the end of the guards hallway and boom, we ended up getting that one right. So obviously the last one's got to be the, uh, the one inside of the church. So here we are at the uh, church painting. That's the last one. All right, so after selecting all four paintings in the correct order, you guys want to head down to the undercroft. There's going to be a symbol on the wall with two wolf heads. And when you get down there, the wolf heads are going to break open, the rocks are going to break open, and out comes the quest for your wolf bow. So you just picked up the wolf bow quest, and that's step one, guys, so let's move on to step two. So this is a pretty simple step, guys. You just got to come down here to the rocket area, and you need to shoot down a skull. The skull is right up there, right under the flag up there on the cliff. So you need to shoot the skull down, and uh, if you hit it, You'll see the skull roll down the hill. You can kind of see it rolling down right there. So once you guys have done that, come over here, pick up the skull, and you guys are done with step two. So let's move on to step three. So for this step, you want to make sure the pressure plates and the low gravity is activated. I remember coming down here at first trying to do this step, and it wasn't working for me because I didn't have my low gravity uh, activated. So I had to activate that before I could do this step. Just a quick tip. Come down here to the undercross. Right next to the, to the uh, pyramid, you'll see that crate with the two dog symbols. Uh, put the skull that we picked up inside of that crate, and you'll see this dog appear, and he'll start walking around the map. Follow the dog until it? he stops What's here. He he'll start digging. After he's done digging, he's just going to stand there. Uh, so you're going to need to collect zombie souls. Once you're done collecting zombie souls um, and there's no more souls to collect, you're going to want to go up to that dig spot and press X or square. It depends what console you're playing on. And then the dog will start moving again to the next location. So I wanted to show you guys this next clip. You guys want to make sure that all doors are open before you do this step. I forgot to open the first room door and my dog ended up glitching out in the first room there. Uh, he stood there for like a couple rounds and then he ended up disappearing. But after a few rounds, he ended up appearing back on the map and he was walking towards the next location. He just magically appeared and I was like, hell yeah, because at first I thought I was going to have to start the game over and just do this whole process all over again because uh, the dog glitched out. Uh, I, I didn't know he was going to respawn back. But just a quick tip, guys, before you do this step, just in case, just make sure all the doors are open. Think twice. 
So my dog's back and we just finished collecting souls at this location, so I'm going to go up to the hole and pick up the bones and the dog's going to start moving to the next location. So this is the last location before we move on to the next step. So we just finished collecting souls for the last location, so I'm going to go up and I'm going to pick up the rest of the bones. Now the dog walked over to this wall here and he's just sitting down in front of this wall and he's kind of staring up at this big giant hole in the wall. So what you guys got to do is you have to wait till there's low gravity. And while low gravity you need a wall run and then you need to shoot a bow into the hole in the wall there. As you can see I didn't get my bow inside the hole in the wall but my bow ended up hitting the uh, dog symbols so I guess that works too. So after shooting the arrow at the dog symbols that will spawn a platform here for you to stand on. Uh, so you want to wall run again, jump on the platform, shoot an arrow into the hole in the wall. That will form the skeleton like you just saw, and there will be an arrow that you can pick up. Go ahead and pick up that arrow, and we are nearly done. We are nearly finished, guys. This is the last step, guys. Head over here to this crate with the two dog symbols on it, also known as the Keeper's Shrine. It's right by the pyramid in the uh, Undercroft add your arrow to it this is where we added our skulls earlier so add your arrow to it and you're gonna get a max ammo when you do this too which is pretty cool but um now all you gotta do is collect zombie souls and when you hear this sound Robin Hood of explosions that's how you know you have collected all the souls and you are pretty much finished all you gotta do now is add your bow to the keepers shrine so here I just added my bow now we just gotta wait a few seconds. And there it is. The wolf bow, upgraded wolf bow. So that's it guys, that's how you get the upgraded wolf bow. So if you guys enjoyed the video or if this video helped you out in any way, support the video by dropping a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I got more Horizon Dragon gameplay coming up. I still got the other bows that I need to uh, upload. Um, I got some high round gameplay that I'm going to be doing, so be on the lookout for that, guys. I'm the Zombie Project. I'll catch you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace.